Hi there, coming to you live from the city. I'm Rich Rubo, coming up on the show. Before extending help to others, first, save yourself from the brink. In our super fast paced world, it's often encouraged and commendable to extend help and support to others. Acts of kindness and compassion bring immense joy and fulfillment. And the desire to make a positive impact on the lives of those around us is indeed noble. Having said that, though, it's more crucial to recognize the importance of self preservation and self care prior to devoting oneself to the service, service of others. In this pursuit of helping others, we may often neglect our own well being. We may exhaust ourselves physically, mentally, and emotionally, ignoring the warning signs of burnout and neglecting our own needs. Just as an empty vessel cannot quench the thirst of others, a person who is physically and mentally depleted cannot provide the necessary support and assistance to those in need. Emotional well being is equally crucial. It involves acknowledging our feelings, addressing any emotional challenges, and seeking support when necessary. Taking the time to reflect, engage in activities which bring joy, and maintain healthy relationships fosters a sense of emotional stability. This emotional equilibrium allows us to navigate the challenges. Which arise when favoring others without compromising our own mental stability. Furthermore, nurturing our mental clarity is vital. Regularly engaging in activities that stimulate the mind, such as reading, learning, and exploring new ideas. Helps, maintain, helps retain mental agility and resilience. Cultivating a growth mindset allows us to approach problems creatively and find innovative solutions in our quest to assist others. While it may seem counterintuitive, prioritizing self care ultimately increases our capacity to aid others. By taking care of our own physical, emotional, and mental well being, we become a source of strength and support which truly make a meaningful impact on the lives of those around us. It's akin to feel- filling our own cup first before pouring out to quench the thirst of others. As we embark on the noble mission of helping others, it's imperative that everybody bear in mind that self care is absolutely not selfish at all, but rather an essential step towards providing effective aid. Before extending our hands to save others, it's a must for us to ensure that we are in the position of strength and stability ourselves. By enhancing our physical, emotional, and mental well being, we become better equipped to make a lasting and significant difference in the lives of others. Okay, with that, we wrap up this edition of Rachel Today. As always, we welcome your thoughts and, com- we welcome your thoughts and comments. See you next time. Bye for now.